Hey everyone, Andy here, NAB 2015. I'm in the Sony booth with my good friend Juan Martinez from Sony. Uh, we are checking out the FS7 here. Uh, it's a beautiful camera. Juan's been heavily involved in the, in the design and, and, and Juan's also making sure that we keep updating the camera platform for future use. Uh, we have FS7 here, the extension back. Uh, the 28 to 135 zoom lens, which integrates with the whole system, and the UWPD wireless, it's kind of dark here, but you can see that all integrates together to give lots of features. So, uh, launching this year, launching here at NAB, is version 2.0 firmware. Yeah, so we released, uh, released 2.0 just before NAB. Um, so, they have three very important features. Uh, what I, the one that I like the most, I think this is the most important, is uh, four channel audio capability. So the camera has four channels, uh, 24 bit, 48 kilohertz uh, recording on the, all of the formats. And uh, we now enable the means of uh, applying uh, more inputs to the camera. So the camera has two XLRs and a built in microphone. And that built-in microphone can be assigned to any of the channels, and and the XLRs can also be assigned. There's so you cannot do any to any, but there's uh, flexibility in the assignment. And the uh, other two channels are possible uh, via what we call a multi-interface shoe or MI shoe for short. And this allows us to. Uh, have two, two different devices that can be attached to the camera. In this case, this is a UWPD wireless receiver, and it simply goes in here. Um, there's, it, there's no need to have any batteries on, on the receiver or any wires. It's all sent. All the connections are made through the camera. So when you turn it's the camera power, off, It's powered and, and, and the audio goes through. And the audio goes through. There's another accessory called an XLR KM2 that provides two additional XLRs. And with that module, uh, we have uh, level controls, uh, sensitivity selection, uh, line level, microphone level, phantom power, a wind cut, all the things that you will find in a fully professional audio system. So you have four audio channels that are fully adjustable from the operator side. Uh, for the camera. It makes it really a full-on ENG. It's built for that run and gun, so having the audio channels, obviously, people are going to love that. <coughs> so what else, what else is going on? What else is new in the new update? This, there's two other, two other things. One of them is uh, DCI 4096-2160 uh, XAVC uh, Intra. And uh, it, um, that, that now uh, gives us on top of the um, 38, 3840 by 216 uh, UHD. So it gives you more choices. So you don't need to scale the image if you're producing for television. Uh, it gives you better quality, and uh, you also have a look around, which is a good thing. And and the last one is uh, using the XDCA FS7. Uh, it is possible now to encode, so we turned on the encoding of ProRes. So HD ProRes, uh, HQ or 42. Uh, so the camera is sending an uncompressed 16 bit signal to the XCCA. The XCCA compresses it, it sends it back into the camera, gets recorded onto the XQD cards. It's still on the card recording, you don't need an external recorder. You don't need an external recorder for that. Very nice. So. Beyond that, what's the future hold? You know, Sony, I love the, the timeline. We love the updates that are always coming these days. So we are giving a sneak uh, preview of version 3.0. So there's going to be, within 2015, with, there will be a, a tw uh, version 3.0 release uh, we're targeting. And uh, we're just announcing that we are going to implement 2K center crop. So this will enable the, the use of super 16 millimeter lenses directly and uh, uh, two thirds inch lenses uh, with a, 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 a low loss adapter. It's a great option, again, building it for that kind of run and gun work, it makes it even more. You call this the Verite camera back in the day? Yeah? Yes, it is. <laughs> it, is it is designed, this, the, the, the purpose of this camera is uh, a camera to uh, emulate the French Super 16 millimeter cameras, Aton, Eclair, so on, that, that were used for cinema verite style shooting. So this, everything on this camera is made for the purpose. So the, the ergonomics of the Super 16 millimeter cameras with uh, powerful, lightweight, uh, 35 millimeter optics, 
um, very efficient compression so that the operating costs are low and the co very powerful uh, media that is also about half the price of S by S. The uh, digital imaging uh, business group, they have a lot of clever people over there and they were going to continue adding functionality to their camera. Right. Uh, behind me here and up in the sky here is the uh, X300 monitor. This is their 4K OLED display which has an HDR mode. Uh, this enables you to take the output of a camera, an S-Log or a, a 70PQ type curb and display it properly giving you massive range. So the cameras, the Sony cameras have 14 stops of range, you know, on the F55, 65. Um, that can give that 14 stop range and really properly show it to you on a display. Uh, it's really hard to show it to you here because, well, your computer display can't show it to you at home, uh, but uh, believe me, it looks really good. So uh, comparisons are hard to make on the internet, of course, but uh, because of the OLED technology in this display, we get really clean blacks. And because of the high output, up to 1,000 nits of this display, we get really bright whites. It's a lot more range than we've ever seen before. Uh, so we'll see HDR start to show up in consumer displays in the future. Sony has one here on display as well. And the idea is this can allow you to finish your material, finish your content in HDR for really just truly amazing viewing experience. So the X300 up there, uh, you got to come check it out, see it in person. Uh, so that's it for now here in Sony's booth. See you next time.